G'day guys, how you going? Um, it's Sean, back for another tech review. This one's a bit of a informal tech review. And we're gonna be talking about iOS 13 and CarPlay. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and impressions, review. And I've been using CarPlay since like 2016. This is a Volkswagen Tiguan from 2016. The screen is quite small. Um, it's about the same size as my iPhone 10, which I'm running. And I have been loving CarPlay ever since it was first announced way, 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 way back. So today we're gonna go for a drive. We've got some errands to do, bit of an informal discussion about CarPlay. Gonna talk about some of the features, what I like, what I don't like. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on other tech reviews. I don't do car stuff much, so this is kind of a bit of a random thing. Um, and let's begin. So the main reason why I love CarPlay is I felt like for the first time ever, it gave the consumer the choice in a way to opt out of the standard included navigation system that came in the car. Because when I bought my Tiguan, it was an extra like $2,000 or something to have just a navigation part. And I was like, well, if it's got CarPlay and I've got a phone and I'm plugging it in any way for music or charging my phone and it does maps and everything else, probably better interface than what the Volkswagen interface was. Um, then why not do that and save myself like $2,000? So that's why I love CarPlay. I apologize for all the bumps, rent a car, can't really help that. But yeah, I love CarPlay. I think it was first released on like iOS 10 or 11 or something. Um, but I've been using it, like I said, since 2016, so for quite a while. And I felt like every time a new version has come out, it's been better and better and they've listened to the manufacturers and the customers and what people are saying. Um, and yeah, it's overall been a pretty, pretty positive experience. So, like I said, a bit of an informal discussion. I want to know what you guys think, if this is something that would sway you to maybe consider choosing CarPlay for your next vehicle. I'd love to hear those thoughts and comments. Um, if you have any questions and you'd like to see a follow-up video, then, um, let me know that as well, because I'm definitely keen to talk about this more if you guys want to see more content like this. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go ahead and give you now a quick tour of CarPlay on iOS 13. We're currently in the car park, we're about to go in and do some errands, but before we do that, we'll go through some of the key features of CarPlay in iOS 13 and what I think about this update. So I've been using CarPlay now for a long time, I've already mentioned that, and the first thing that we'll talk about probably is the music. Um, that's something that I use every day and I think everyone can agree that's something they probably use every day as well. Something that is quite different and quite new is having the album art show up with pretty much everything now. So with all of your albums, with all of your songs, the album art is now showing up, which is great. The interface is a bit cleaner. The font is, you know, changed a little bit, which some people might like, some people might hate, but I, I personally really like it. Um, if you go into your radio section and you're playing, for example, Beats 1, it's still going to give you the option to press play, sorry, press the plus icon and save that song to your library. So nothing really functionally has changed too much. It's more of a layout change with the music um, app on the CarPlay. So the other things that have changed is the quick glance feature. So as soon as you plug in your phone, you're going to get this quick glance view 
I'm just gonna give you your maps on the right, which I guess is more for the driver, and then your music down on the bottom left or the left-hand side for the passenger. Um, if you're using the maps on the right-hand side, it will give you your turn-by-turn -turn up in the top left, and there's actually no way to change this at the moment from what I found. It's pretty much lock stock. You don't have any option there, which I feel as though could be an opportunity for Apple to go ahead and maybe release at a later date, a way for you to rearrange this depending on um, your preferences. The other thing that you can't change is you can't change it from Apple Maps as your default map on the quick glance. You have stuck with that. So if you want to use Google Maps, you actually have to go ahead and load Google Maps as a separate um, app and start your directions there. You can't have it on this quick glance, which I feel like is them really just trying to push their own maps application which i totally get but it'll be nice if they gave you the option to change it and maybe that will happen later on um on the bottom right you've got your little um tile here which is changed from a home button if you still hold that down you will still get siri um but if you press it once it will give you all of your apps so you've got your phone your messages google maps music podcasts all the same things but you now get a settings area as well so you can go ahead and turn on and turn off um, the appearance from being light or dark or you can have it set to one or the other so when you head to like sunset or dusk it will switch to dark mode which i think is is pretty cool especially for when you're driving at night um, do not disturb while driving you can have that activated or not so that might be great for those of you who might be parents with children and you want to maybe turn that on their phone so they don't get distracted when they're driving um or just a way of you know blocking out phone calls for when you're on long trips or whatever it might be um you can turn on and turn off album art same with your series suggestions you can do that as well now something that i actually really do like is with the apple maps when you go ahead and you let me just quickly end this um, and you want to search for a particular place, it will now give you the option to just go ahead and click the keyboard and manually type in the place that you want to go to or the address. Instead, what used to happen is you would press the directions or search for a place and instantly what would happen is Siri would start yelling at you, asking you where you want to go and Siri would only work like 20% of the time, in my case anyway. So I think it's called cool the um, go on ahead and give you the keyboard option and you can just type that in. So that's a bit of a, I guess, a quick tour of iOS 13 and CarPlay. Um, nothing really has too, changed too much. I mean, the layer has definitely changed. I think it's a lot cleaner. My screen is quite small. It's obviously going to be better for those of you who have larger screens in your um, more current cars. This is a 2016 Tiguan. So let me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this or if you want a part two to this particular video for CarPlay or if I've missed something, let me know in the comment section down below. Get subscribed, smash the like button and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.